Marcelo's in the background. Look at that. He just knew. It's about time I updated my intro. And lads, you know the cheapest and only place to get your ultimate team coins. Make sure you head over to ayoha.com. Link in the description. And make sure to use the code GONF for a discount. Yo, lads, we're back with another squad builder. Today, lads, we're going to be taking a look at players who have celebrated goals before the goal have even got in. So you'll see players celebrating their goal. Even though they haven't actually scored. It's probably one of the most disrespectful things you can do to your opponent. I want to thank this guy you've seen on the screen because I've gone make the squad builder. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And if one of you drops a like on today's video, it'll be absolutely amazing. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a McDonald's Peely Peely. Yep, yep, peeled by me. Anyway, we're going to dive straight into today's video and it starts with this goalkeeper who was an absolute fool. Look what he did. A penalty was taken, he saves the penalty, starts celebrating. Look, he walks off celebrating the absolute donkey's ass. What is he doing? Holy sh... No, someone slap this guy right now. He's walked off celebrating to the crowd, smacking his chest. Saying we love you to everyone. And the ball's rolled in behind him. Look, what an idiot, you fool, bro. Someone better tell me this guy didn't play football ever again. I am abs, no, no, no. We can watch this over and over again. What an idiot. What are you doing? Oh, surely one of his teammates was like, bro, he's what, he's like. <laughs> Fuck. We're then gonna move up to the defense and we've got Big Virgil. Big Virgil, yeah? This guy don't take no, no he don't take no nothing, no nonsense. He also got a bit of a cocky side to him though. Because Mo Salah hadn't even put this ball in the back of the net. And Van Dijk's already in the background, bloody having a party. This was that goal in the Champions League. The ball gets played to Mo Salah. And it's, I mean, it's an obvious goal. We, we knew Mo Salah was going to score. But Van Dijk's in the background. Look, hands in the air. Before he even took the shot, Van Dijk was in the background like this, celebrating. <laughs> that is when you know your boy's got your back. Van Dijk literally just was like, bruv, I don't even need to see. I can turn around and I already know it's a goal. You don't even need to tell me what Mo Salah did because I already know. That's so cocky. Like, you, you, you see Virgil as this like, really professional guy. <laughs> oh, no. No. Not when Salah's on the ball, it all comes out. He, he could have missed. Keeper could have saved it. Could have hit a wide, though. No. Virgil just knew. And so did Marcelo. Because this is another guy who got his boys back. Back when Ronaldo was playing for Real Madrid, Marcelo celebrated a penalty that Ronaldo was about to take against Barcelona. Yeah, Barcelona. Marcelo had already celebrated before Ronaldo had even scored the goal. He, he, he already knew. He knew the story, the ending, the beginning, the middle and the ending. Have a look at this, lads. Ronaldo steps up for a penalty and Marcelo just knew. Marcelo's in the background. Look at that, he just knew. You, you don't need to tell Marcelo, he already got his hands in the air knowing that he scored. And Ronaldo just completely and utterly sits Valdez on his bald bum. Like he never stood a chance. But Marcelo, do you know what? I want my football team, I want my defenders to be doing that for me. I went on one of our take penalty. I want my players to know I'm so good, it's already gone in. And sometimes you just gotta take a bow for a god. Ronaldinho took a free kick, and as soon as the ball went over the wall, he ran off celebrating. As, like, it hadn't even gone fully over the wall, and Ronaldinho's already already thought of his celebration. Crazy. This is it, a Ronaldinho free kick, a special boom, look, he ran off. He actually ran off before the ball went in the net, bro. That is what I call confidence. He ran off, the ball ain't even in the net. I just, no, oh, no, 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 Ronaldinho. He is such a little savage. The ball's not even in, look, he's run off, no, 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 the disrespect, oh my goodness, it, that is, that's 10 out of 10, he's literally, as soon as the ball has left his foot, he already knew, he already knew who was in, what a god, this is why, this is why he's an icon, this is why he's a legend. And it doesn't end there, because now we're moving up to the midfield and Ross Barkley back on his bullshit. This is what I like to call the most disrespectful, piss-taking thing you can do 
to your opposition. And I'm pretty sure he got a clip round the ear when his manager finished with him. This is, this, this is bad. Right, so here it is, back, he takes on the goalkeeper. Look at this, he puts his hands in the air. <laughs> oh no, oh no, no you scumbag. You absolute scumbag. Like, the, the angle was still quite tight. And he was just like, I already know this is in. He shot with it, he like, was running with his hands in the air and just sliding home. Oh, what, what's your thoughts on this? Do you, do you think that's acceptable? I think that's bad. That's like kicking, you see your five, what were they, five three up, and you've just booted your opponent down while they're on the floor. <laughs> he's done this before he's even scored. Sometimes you just gotta dab. You just gotta dab. Pogba will tell you, you just, you know when you just, you get on the train and you just, you go for, for dinner and you just, you're having sex with your girlfriend and you just, you just, sometimes you're just scoring goals and you just, here's Paul Pogba's moments. I think it might have been in the charity match. The ball's played through it. I hope it was a charity match because that defence just got torn apart. And Pogba dabs before the ball's even in the net, bro. But Pogba has dabbed the ball into the net. And then, his celebration is the slow dab. Slow dab. There's two types of dabs, bro. Like, it's the slow dab's the worst one, man, but... Oh, the ball's in the net, and he's, he's, yeah, he's just, he stabs the ball into the net. <laughs> I don't know how else you can rub it in your opponent's face other than dabbing the ball into the net. You then have Cristiano Ronaldo, another player, once again, is celebrating a Cristiano Ronaldo goal early. The, his teammates really do have faith in him, and I don't blame him, because he is great, like, I mean, it doesn't take, it doesn't take a genius, and it doesn't take a good player to celebrate a Ronaldo goal early, does it? I mean, anyone would. And Messi or Ronaldo, when they went on one, you may as well run around already. You've already got the champagne out, mate. You, you know the outcome. This was Ronaldo's goal against Sweden, as you can see. Watch Bruno Alves in the background. Ready? Boom. Boom, there he is in the background. I want to show you one more time. Watch Alves in the background with his hands in the air. It's crazy. Before he'd even... La, 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 la. Boom! Hands are in the air. He already knew, just like the Marcelo clip. They just know. They just know what's coming next. As soon as Ronaldo starts skipping one-on-one, -on -one, it's a goal. It's a wrap, and it's done. And of course, he went on to score. He's still got so much work to do, but everyone just knows it's a goal. Imagine being that good at football. Like, everyone just knows you've scored before you've even scored. It's mad, it's scary. And the king of all kings, Ibrahimovic, is about to show you how to not only Celebrate before you score, but celebrate as the goal is going in. This guy just takes it to a whole nother level. It's a joke. So here it is. The ball's played to Ibrahimovic, and he's sliding in the... Oh, it's just, it's just so cool. It's so Ibra. Look at this. He's already doing his celebration, and he looks away. He no look celebrates. Oh, this is a joke. This is really pissing me off. He no look celebrated. So he's already sliding across the floor, looking away before the ball had rolled into the net. And you wonder why we call him Zlatan. You wonder why. Now you know. He is a joke. He kind of just trumped the whole team. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen someone do. Slide, look away, as the ball's rolling into the net, knowing that the ball is going in. I mean, if it hits the post or goes wide, you're gonna look like a dickhead. But he just knew. He just knew. What a guy. And I think finally I'm gonna just end it on a bonus clip, because this is one I know you're gonna wanna see. Thomas Rosicki, back in the day, used to be a scumbag. You think Ross Barkley's one was bad? You think that was bad, do you boys? Have a little look at this one. Disrespect level 100, Thomas Rosicki, He's got his hands in, look at, look at him, look at him, oh my god, oh my, oh my, Thomas Rossicki, you scumbag, you scumbag, to run doing this, not just once, but then he does it again, he's running one on one with his hands in the air like this, I'm sure you've got to get yellow carded for that, it's just bad. Not only are you getting the, the fans raged, you're just taking the piss. I mean, wow. You, we've, we've seen it all today. Jesus, lads. Oh, my days. <laughs> the, the, guy's, the, guy, the guy's already gone. 
He's already gone! 